Hello, I'm going to talk about the personal lines for insurance and to see the, the bigger picture so that it might help in passing the insurance exam. So I'm over here, I'm going to talk basically about personal lines. So let's put it right here so you can see it okay. Personal, personal lines. Now to do a little kind of a flow chart with that, let me see if I can get this pin just to turn on the camera come a little closer. Maybe a little bit better. That's personal line. Now, let's see if we can understand how that branches off. And now, over here on the side, I'm going to put so that we have some terminology. When you hear the word casualty, casualty, then you should know. You should know that that's the same as liability. All right, so that took a while just to get that straight. So casualty is going to be the same thing as liability. See that? Okay. Now, keeping that in mind, then, on the personal lines, we're going to have a, basically a split off in terms of what we call forms. So the first, the first major branch that we'll have here is going to be for, say, you got homeowners. So when we have, when we talk about, we have talked about dwelling, and we're going to dwelling uh, policy, or they call it a DP, or we can come over here, and we're going to talk about homeowners policy. And there would be another one here, but for now, before I go back up there, that the dwelling is going to have forms, certain forms that you're going to fit in according to what your client wants uh, to, to risk mitigate. So with dwelling, there are basically three forms that one could use, and there these forms are what they call DP1 and DP2 and DP3. Now, these are about dwelling. And this one is mostly used, you receive for, for, for uh, properties that are not where the occupant lives. In other words, you can rem to remind you, this is for a tenant like a tenant occupied and you're cop copying, I mean you're covering your property but this doesn't contain any personal liability for yourself so this would be damages caused by perils and things other than caused by yourself whereas homeowners it's a little more extensive because it, it has these forms from H Zero two to H zero three. We have four. A homeowner's four. And let me pull that one back in before I get out of there. Homeowner's four. And what we have the five. We have uh, six. We'll have a six over here, yeah, and uh, I'll go through another another one, a couple two other ones too. Uh, we have an eight. And anyway, these these are all forms, insurance forms. So what we're doing now is pre we're going to prepare a package for the insured. So he comes in and he says, first of all. I need some insurance on my property. Then the question would be, well, are you living in that property? Well, then you probably you probably looking for some dwelling policy because this is going to be least expensive. It's not as uh, doesn't encompass as much. In particular, when you come to these home owner policies, there's going to be a question of uh, the liability. So 
the homeowners comes with this 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 now homeowners would be your own home where you live in so then we have to consider the liability that is caused that you you could cause somebody that's visiting or or cause somewhere your property somewhere else uh, or convert to be damaged or if you need liability so, so now we talk about property so in general in general homeowners are going to be equivalent to property coverage you see that property and casualty but we already know that casualty is the same as talking about a liability yeah so that makes that makes sense now uh, the dwelling policy is, is going to be one that's like I said covering mostly uh, other properties other than the one you live in and, and this other one will be your actual different different forms all right now as part of preparing the package then uh, you, you, you first select which one of these is going to be your best option according to your client so this this is not too bad or we should call this the basic form so remember these are forms so we call them the form or the the outline of guide and then uh and then we have here we can have what's broad um, and over here we have what's we can call it uh special another word is uh, that that's open peril right so and broad would be a stated peril and basic is 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 uh basically fire fire insurance um and uh, with a few uh mentioned perils which we'll go over so that's the first point that we want to make a make clear is that personal lines is basically divided on between that that you want to cover where you don't live to live in and that where you do live in and that that you do live in will have casualty property and casualty whereas a dwelling property unless you buy further endorsements we're talking just strictly on property okay so that that should help and then we have another personal line that works basically and the same idea but this would be for uh, auto and on the auto we also have a similar thing about whether or not you have a casualty which 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 is something where you were just protecting against liability remember so that's casualty that's if you strike somebody and then we have over here uh, you have what we call comprehensive comprehensive now let's I know it's starting to get kind of jumbled but let me go take a skip over here let's go back to the well not to go back but let me make it more clear auto an auto policy is part of the personal lines and it too like uh, homeowners and dwelling so let's say that splits and but we're going to call this one here uh, this one like a homeowners where it has property and this basically we we'll call it comprehensive you see that what comprehensive then will be split up like uh, homeowners which has you see over here we have casualty and, and, and liability so too this this will have this comprehensive is 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 that what we're saying it's going to cover property right and then casualty which is liability see that okay and on this side where it's kind of similar to to what we were talking over here to just dwelling uh, where dwelling is covering uh, things other than your own car 
So this would be what we're calling this one is just strictly casualty. Right? So uh, and, and so another way to think about this is this is stuff to call that you either you crash or be crashed. <laughs> to to crash or to be crashed. This is if you crash somebody and you're negligent. Okay. And then over here it's 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 both. It's it's everything other than somebody you crashing somebody, so it's crash or not to crash. Uh, that is on this not to crash, that means anything else that's not crashed would be covering here, including your property. Uh, property which is in this case your car. And liability that's caused by that, not, and covering things that would damage, basically, to others. And casualty is, is strictly that part of liability, like here, damage to others. You would have that as well over here. And then that's a basically damage to others. Uh, not your own, not 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 covering, not covering your car, not covering your car. Okay, so now we got a good idea of how that works. So this, you can see the similarity between auto policy, which is split up, like here in the personal lines, where it's split up between dwelling and homeowners, and homeowners is between property and casualty, which is liability, and this is the dwelling is strictly property. Later on, you will see that you add other uh, coverages to make the dwelling appear much like a homeowner's. Okay, I'll cover that next time. Thanks.